Hello, I'm Peter Vaughan, and today I'm back in France, this time at the Rapido Group factory at Mayenne in Normandy. And behind me are some of the latest 2024 models, which we'll have a quick look at in this video. <music> Sometimes at these launches, you fight all day to get a five minute window with the star of the show. But today is my lucky day and yours, because this, the Rapido 606, is undoubtedly the star of their 2024 model range. For a start, the 6F series is where they've put most of their effort this season. Now, that starts on the outside with a new overcab pod with this much bigger overcab sky view. And it continues at the rear where things have been redesigned as well for a much more modern and cohesive look. Base vehicle, of course, is the Peugeot Boxer, but if you want an automatic, you can have it on a Fiat Ducato. So this model is 6.79 meters long. It's on a three and a half ton chassis, of course and despite the fact it doesn't have a fixed bed you've still got a decent sized garage 1.2 meters headroom in there and it does have internal access and a second garage door on the other side but it's not the outside that will sell you this van it's this lounge look at the size of it it is huge now i know we've seen layouts like this before but i think Rapido has certainly gone one better than most. Supersized sky view, nice big fold in half table, but of course folded it doesn't get in the way so much. That sofa over on the near side is vast. Cab seats will go right the way around so that you can get your feet up. You've got scatter cushions, spotlights in the drop down bed, reading lights in the cab, more reading lights, four of them over the actual settees, each of those with USBs as well. And even the TV point by the door is pretty convenient. There's really good headroom even under the drop down bed. That's 1.91 meters here. And the drop down bed comes down really, really low. Both the bed and the table lower electrically. Just remove the backrest cushions from the sofas and then the bed comes down to just 79 centimeters off the floor. And you can still get out through the side door. Kitchen, well that has a slot in worktop goes on here. You've got a solid cover over the sink and in the UK you'll get a low mounted oven here. Over on the other side, supersized 167 litre fridge freezer. And then open this door and you go through a really, to a really palatial washroom. Big shower on that side plenty of room over around the loo and the basin and then these sliding doors give you excellent access into your wardrobe space especially over on this side where often these drawers can be quite hidden in this type of arrangement here they're fully accessible so that's the 606 f which is definitely a model to look out for when you get to the nec show this october in the meantime, take a look at the decor, because this is the new Luceo scheme, which is available in other models in the Rapido range. And now, as they say, for something completely different. Whereas that 606F is very much a two-person luxury van, this is an Itinio, so it's budget entry level, and this new PS700 model is very much aimed at families. You can have this as a six, well, it comes as a six berth as standard with five travel seats, but a sixth travel seat is an option and still at three and a half tons. And of course, we've now switched to the Ford Transit as a base vehicle. The first time Itinio has built on the Ford and this being their cozy range, it's built in Italy. As standard, it gets the 130 PS engine and manual gearbox, but go for the Elite Plus pack as here, and you get all the toys, including the 170 PS engine and the six-speed automatic gearbox. 
For a van that's just 6.99 metres long, it does feel surprisingly spacious. You've got this big family friendly lounge with a vast table. And of course, you can make this seating area into a double bed and you've got another double bed above. But if you only need four birds, you can bring that bed down nice and low. The kitchen is a decent size and I'm very much hoping that you'll be able to add an oven for the UK. Standard is a two burner hob, but you can upgrade that to three rings and the fridge well, that's a family size 141 litres. Over on the other side, the washroom is a good size too, with a semi-separate shower area that opens up to give you a good shower cubicle with screens, not a curtain. And talking of curtains, well, behind these two curtains, top and bottom, you've got your bunk beds, of course, 2.08 metres long by 90 centimetres wide, each with a reading light, USB and an opening window. So the grumpiest of teenagers will be happy enough there. Last, but by no means least, is this new baby of the Rapido range, the latest addition to their C-series compact models. This is the C03 or C03. It's 6.19 metres long and it effectively replaces the C56, which was a French bed layout. Now this one goes for a transverse double bed at the back instead. It's a little bit longer, um, but it's still, crucially, like all the C-Series models, just 2.17 metres wide. Now if you're interested in compact models, we have done a full review on the A-Class C86i, so watch out for that one. This, like all the low-profile C-Series, is based on a Peugeot Boxer. And as you can see, with that narrow width, it's barely any wider than that standard Peugeot cab. Now, despite the compact size, you still get a full-sized garage with two large loading doors and headroom of up to 1.2 metres, so plenty of room to get your bikes on board. Now, many of the CO3's rivals are 5.99 metres long, and Rapido says it's deliberately made this model 20 centimetres longer to give you more space. Part of that means that you get this nice, big, tall fridge, 140 litre compressor model with a slide-out bottle drawer. Kitchen has a two-burner hob and a slot-in worktop at this end, and in continental spec, these centrally locked huge kitchen drawers. Now in the UK we will lose some of that drawer space because the oven will be here nice and sensibly low. Over on the other side we've got a really practical swing wall wash washroom, the uh, system that uh, Rapido calls duo space and it works very very well. Then proper permanent steps up to your rear bed to make access nice and easy. And now this rear bed measures a generous 1.95 metres long by 1.45 metres wide up at this head end, slightly less at the foot. You've got a window at each end and a, and a roof vent, so plenty of ventilation. And for once, not only have you got reading lights, but you can actually sit up comfortably in bed. But it's been a hot and exhausting day and I feel much more like enjoying the comfort of a lie down. Now that, I'm afraid, is all we've got time for at Rapido. See you next time. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. <laughs>